a pup back home tonight after being carried off by a thief in Brevard County. Fox 35's Daryl Nail shows us her journey back. The dog's owner tells me that in one week she's had the best and the worst day of her life. The worst was one week ago when burglars broke through the homeowner's window and stole thousands of dollars of jewelry and beanie. A nearly 12 year old Yorkshire Terrier. I mean, truly, we were in shock. And I was just obviously, you know, crying and I, I couldn't even believe it. A deeply saddened Courtney Mulligan started a thorough effort to recover her pet. It included a big social media campaign and a $5,000 reward. If we could offer enough money, that somebody would want to turn her in, then that would be one way. Or if we could make such a fuss about it and get so many people to know what was going on that the thieves who had taken her would have to let her go. Amazingly, it worked. A week later, Beanie was found on the side of this I-4 off-ramp in Polk County. Apparently, the thieves had dumped the dog more than 80 miles from her home. Stuart Brown of Orlando happened to see the small dog while driving by. I didn't want it to get hit, so I just kind of pulled off to the side and picked it up. Stuart put Beanie in his car and posted her pictures on Facebook. She looked a little ragged, but one of his friends made the connection to the owner's posting about Beanie. I mean, it was truly a moment of, you know, sheer joy and disbelief and a feeling I've never felt before. The overjoyed owner offered the man who found her dog the cash reward, but he turned it down. These people have gone through enough, so I'm just glad that they got their animal back. You know, she's a sweet dog. She sat on my lap almost the whole ride to the pet. Beanie was in good health after she was checked out by the local vet in Polk County, and after one nervous week, Courtney was reunited with her beloved Yorkie. I was crying. The vets were crying. She was, you know, kissing us and wagging her tail. So um, it was just really emotional and, and special and really, honestly, one of the best moments of my life. And this story's not over yet. That hairband that was on the dog when it was returned was not on it when it was stolen. And so the owner turned it over to deputies and they have taken it in as evidence. In Brevard County, Daryl Nail, Fox 35 News.